Number five, integrated concepts. The temperature near the center of the sun is thought to be 15 million degrees Celsius. Through what voltage must a singly charged ion be accelerated to have the same kinetic, excuse me, the same energy as the average kinetic energy of the ions at this temperature? All right, so we actually just dealt with a problem like this in number four. So I'm going to kind of run through it. We need to first of all know how temperature is related to average kinetic energy. And that's all the way back to, I don't know, remember the chapter 13, 14, somewhere around there. We're talking about kinetic theory. Remember the average kinetic energy of a particular uh, gas, right, is going to be then uh, 3 halves times the Boltzmann constant multiplied by the temperature. Okay, so now that's done. The other part is now we're talking about voltage and we're going to be talking about energy. So we have to know another equation that relates voltage to energy. And that's basically through this equation. The change in uh, voltage or the potential difference is going to be equal to the change in potential energy of the object, all divided by then the charge of that particular object. So what we are after is we are after voltage. Okay, so I got to find this. In order to find voltage, I got to know these two things. Do we know what the potential energy is? Well, we actually do, but let's say we don't know it yet. Do we know what the charge is? We definitely do. It said that it's a singly charged ion. Did it tell us if it's positive or negative? No, it didn't, but who cares? What's the charge of a positive charge? Right, what's the Coulomb value? 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. What's it for an electron? Negative 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. But who cares? We're, we're going to be dealing with absolute values here. The negative sign is really basically no value here. So I know this value. That being the case, what I have to focus on is then finding the potential energy difference. Now the key, and we've done four or so problems on this, remember, the potential energy, the potential energy difference is basically found by or can be found by using the kinetic energy. In these problems, basically what's happening is um, all of the potential energy of the particle is being converted over time into kinetic energy as it's being accelerated. All right, in other words, if I know the maximum kinetic energy, I know it says average, but that's kind of how I have to think about it in this problem. If I know the kinetic energy that the particle has, then I can assume that it started with zero potential energy. So where did all that kinetic energy come from? Well, it came from the change in the object's potential energy. All right. Well, actually, wait a minute. Did I say that right? I meant to say that the kin <laughs> I'm just thinking back. The kinetic energy of the particle started zero. And at the beginning, it all had potential energy because it wasn't moving. Then what happens is over time, right, the potential energy starts to go down because it begins to move. And then what happens? The kinetic energy begins to go up. I mean, we've seen this plenty, plenty of times before. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to look at this as big old, big old just energy for right now. Okay, energy is three halves times the Boltzmann constant times temperature. And this is basically the same thing, just energy. So the change then in the voltage, or the potential difference is the energy there for divided by Q. Just do a simple substitution now because they're both energies basically, right? But we explain why. So the change in voltage therefore is going to be three halves. 3 halves times the Boltzmann constant K multiplied by the temperature, all then divided by the Q. Remember, temperature has to be in terms of Kelvin. They give it to us in terms of Celsius. Wonderful. Just add 273 to it. Is it really going to do anything? No, but we're going to do it anyway. So this is basically now going to turn out to be the change in the voltage is going to be 3 halves times the Boltzmann constant, which is 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23 times then the temperature in Kelvin, so it's 1.5 times 10 to the 7th degrees Celsius, plus then 273. Not really going to change it, but whatever. Then all divided by the charge. Remember, we already talked about that. Just plug in the absolute value. 1.6 times 10 to the minus, excuse me, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th. And let's see what we get. So 3 over 2 times 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23 times then one point. Oh, I should put that in parentheses, right? Parentheses, 1.5 times 10 to the 7th, plus then the big old 273. Divide that whole thing now by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th. And lo and behold, the potential difference would be about 1,940. Okay, three sig figs should probably be two. So 1,940, but I hate sig figs. How about you? Thank you guys very much for tuning in. 
appreciate it. Hopefully this video helps. And if it does, help us out by subscribing, hitting the like button, and maybe even telling your friends. We appreciate it very much. Be well.